everyone. Today we're going to make some air fryer salmon belly. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com. I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, I hope you'll check out some of my other videos and recipes. I've lost over 130 pounds with this way of eating. For those of you returning, welcome back. I hope you liked today's video. Okay, I have taken some salmon belly out of the freezer. I had bought a large quantity of it the last time I saw it and ate some and froze half and I really enjoy this. If, if you like salmon, you will love salmon bellies. They are more tender than salmon. They're very high in uh, the good omega-3s because uh, it's from the belly of the salmon and it's where all the, you know, the fat is. Like the good healthy fats are, are here because they are sold with the skin on and that's how I recommend you making them. Even if you take it off later because you don't like to eat the skin, uh, cook them that way so that you will get the most fats possible. I just want to say that when you're in the store, there's actually two types of salmon belly that you might see. There's this one that we're going to make today. And I'll show you uh, a picture up here, how it looks when it's sold, because I've already kind of cut these up. I've cut them up into smaller pieces from the long strips that they come in. And I will, for the air fryer, I'm, I'm going to cut this even more. I just wanted to get them in the freezer. But basically, the ones that I buy are, are in long strips about this long. Um, you'll see the picture. They usually have a little fin on them, which I've already cut off. Now I see a lot of people uh, just make them with the fin on and then they just take it off before they, they eat it. Um, I just like to not see it afterwards, <laughs> I don't know why. You can certainly leave it on and cook them. And, uh, or you can do what I did and take them off. But um, this, you know, this is basically what these particular salmon bellies are. And the difference between this and the other type of salmon belly, the other type of salmon belly looks more like a salmon filet. There's usually no skin. It is nice and fatty. It is a good choice of uh, fish protein to get, but this is about a quarter of the price. And I like it like this, especially when it's been air fried. So I'm actually going to um, lay these out and cut them up a little bit more um, so that they're kind of bite-sized pieces for the air fryer. This will be like uh, crispy salmon belly bites. Let's call it that. You can also uh, bake these in the oven if you don't have an air fryer. Uh, and I would bake them at uh, like 400, 420, you know, a higher heat and really watch them uh, do it for about five minutes, five to eight minutes, depending on, you know, your pan and how close to, how close to the uh, element it is and, and those sorts of things. So I'm just gonna wash my hands, grab a knife and cut these up. Uh, some of them are already kind of in bite-sized pieces, so I'll throw those in, but I'm just basically going to cut them into chunks. They don't have to be perfect. I mean, unless you're doing this for the company or something, but you can probably see, just give a close up, like just look at that fat on there. That's not what you usually get with salmon. And you don't have to debone them or anything because uh, there's, there's literally no bones except for right where the fin is. And that's the other reason why I cut out the fin is I just cut that piece out take, you know, with the, the bone that's holding the, or the cartilage that's holding the fin in place. And then there's nothing, you know, this is, it's all just meat and fat and skin. But I just, I just love these. 
these are really good with hollandaise sauce. I, I don't have any in my fridge right now, but I will definitely make some for the leftovers later. So I'm gonna put those in there, get rid of this. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on to 390 on air fry. And I am going to put it to seven minutes and check it at five minutes. These do not take long to cook. You don't wanna overcook them. So uh, now I have made them before just plain uh, and sprinkled salt on them afterwards. Today I am going to try some of this on there. It's a naked and saucy organic soy, soy sauce substitute, gluten-free, soy-free. It is made from coconut, fermented coconut sap, organic. So I'm not using much. I'm using one teaspoon for this whole batch. And again, you don't have to do this. If you have a something like a fish sauce, I can't get a clean fish sauce here. When I go over the border in April, I'm going to be stocking up and bringing some home for myself. Um, because the, I think it's Red Boat fish sauce is carnivore. It has nothing in it really except for fish sauce and maybe salt, I can't remember. But, and I'm adding some flaked salt. The other thing I'm going to look for next time I cross the border is the Redmond's kosher salt. So I'm just putting in a, pin, a couple of pinches of the flaked salt and I will probably be adding more salt later. Uh, these are good that way. Just give it a little toss. That is it. Okay, we're going to add this in. I'm just going to basically dump it in and then just try to spread it out in a single layer as best I can. Okay, and then uh, like I said, I'm going to check it at the five minute mark. is looking good but I think I'm gonna leave it for one more minute just to crisp it a, the slightest bit more one more minute okay <gasps> that looks really good all right I'm gonna take a little bit out to try it it looks really good Okay. Oh boy. So tender looking. To me, this is, you know, like when you're cutting into the fatty part of a ribeye steak, this is just as good as that. I don't even know how to describe that. It just melts in your mouth. Doesn't even taste like so light and tender the little bit of crispiness around the edges. I absolutely love this. So I hope now that you have seen what it looks like and know what to look for in the store. Now I have to go to an Asian market to get this. Maybe a fishmonger has it as well in a fish store. And uh, now you know what, uh, what to expect and, and how to prep it. And I hope you give it a try. Um, because this thing is loaded with those omega-3s. So, quick video today, and uh, I hopefully will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. My nose is running like crazy. I can't remember the fat, what it's called. I forgot to say that I've lost weight. Do it again.